Hi, I'm Rochelle. And I'm Danielle. We are the mother-daughter owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. So before you tune off, just wait a minute. We will explain why our hair is like this in just a second. Stay tuned. <laughs> but this video is all about our 2022 best-selling top pieces so far this year. Yes. So we really want to take you through all the different top pieces, the curly, the short, the mediums, the longs, the monofilaments, the wavies, all of them, so you can compare all of them. Yes. So this is not really about color, this is more about style. So you'll see we'll, we will put on some colors that definitely blend with our hair or what we're wearing, but this is not a video specifically about color for, for us, to match us. Yes. So Danielle created these bottom <laughs> wig pieces so they don't change the look of the short top pieces right. and it allows you to get a better idea of how they look on us. Yes. So these are... Not really because they've been chopped up, um, but we're going to put the short pieces on on the tops because yes. it's just our hair up here and a piece down here so you can see how it would blend. Yes, yeah, so remember they, <laughs> they will probably not match our hair, but that's not what this video is about. Just right. about for you to see all of our styles Yes. for 2022. Right, so let's get going. So we're going to work from shortest to longest. So the first one we're going to show you is our curly top. So this top piece... Um, has a little bit shorter base than some of our other pieces. It still has the four clips, and you're gonna clip it on right to the front. I'm Always gonna give mine start a little with brush. the front. Right. So what I like about this piece, it is called a curly top. However, if you just give it a little brush, you can actually smooth it out also, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'm leaving mine right. curly. So see how it blends into the wig back there? <laughs> so you can really see what it's gonna look like. So if you have curly short hair, right. and or wavy, or wavy, and it's fine or it's thinning on the top, make this as full or flat as you like. Look at that. So I'm not doing any bang yet. I just wanted you to see. Wow. I just clipped it on. Wait, we've got a high Sorry, tag. Tag. So I just clipped it on. Didn't do anything yet. So this is like a really pretty look with it oh, kind of off. Look, show the side view. <laughs> Here is the piece. Wow. Right? Wow. Yeah. You got to turn on this. It's I didn't amazing. even touch it. I haven't, even, I haven't done anything It's yet. amazing. So here is, can you just look up just, yes, here's the piece. And it just, all of our pieces are thinner in the back. So they just brush right into your hair. Yes. So Ooh. here's the front, and so if I want a little bang. Oh, so you wore it straight up. I just like how I put it on. Mama. Right and then I could bring down these little wispies if I wanted for a little bang, like this. So there is just a little bit of bang. And then, so I had brushed mine smooth. So as you can see, we're wearing the same piece, but yeah. hers is kind of curlier and mine is smoother. It's really right. versatile. And then if I wanted it more curly, if I just kind of smush it with my fingers, can get a little different look. So right there already, I got a little bit different look. It's a little more of a wave to yes. it. So it is a really versatile piece. Right, and we're showing you on different ages yes. and different facial shapes too, because I'm rounder and Danielle is down. trimmer face, of course. Oh, please. So I'm just, now I'm just playing with it. I just want to show you. So I'm bringing it down as okay. flat as possible. I'm going to try that. I, I like, like it. it. So hers is still more wavy. I had kept mine smoother. Show up. <laughs> so here is that same piece, the curly top, but look at it flattened down and smoothed. So the curly top, it starts out curly, but it's very versatile. Yeah. And then also, do you want to show the curly top yes. actually comes in white as well, which has been really popular. And like I said, whether you want it curlier or smoother, you can go either way. We do beautiful, beautiful white yes. pieces. And we're adding more white tops. We do have um, some already, so be sure to check them out. Yeah, oh, gorgeous. And then so easy, just four clips and it is secure, ladies. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry. No, not at all. So of course, this that you see coming out, that's Rochelle's bun. You know, we're doing our best with our long hair. <laughs> but here you can see exactly where the coverage is because you can see quite a difference in the color. 
So you see how it just wisp and it's really nice and it just will blend right into your own hair. And if your hair is a little shorter, take it to a hairdresser and have it trimmed or watch one of our videos and try it yourself. <laughs> but once you Fantastic. trim, no returns. So be careful. <laughs> so this is the curly top. Curly top. So if you'll leave yours on for okay. a second. Okay, sure I will. I am going to now put on the next piece. I don't know which clips to take out. Which is, uh, I don't want to take off my, my other piece. Is, um, I'm going to call that the baby bottom <laughs> or something. I kind of feel like Princess Leia a little bit. So the next piece I want to show you is called Christy Top. So it's going to be a little bit smoother. The front's definitely longer, um, but the back is almost a little short. So I want you to really be able to see the difference in the lengths. Mm -hmm. Great. So this is Christy Top in Ginger Brown. Two clips in the front, and again, wherever I am here, the two clips in the back. Let me get this. Yes, great. In. We want to make sure the back looks as good as it can yes. for you. So this is Christy oh, Top. Love her. So one of the things that's really different, she has this long, this long bank, which we love to sweep to the side. And then her top here is actually a little shorter. So I just want you to be able to see like the front even. See how mm. this front has these little wispy fronts where this has this longer side front. Very short, very short. Little and then how, how tall are your middle pieces? So her middles are or about the same. Hers are a little longer, maybe. A little longer, but rounder. Right. And then for the back, how's my back? It's perfect, honey. Thank you. So this back is kind of a little shorter cut up here, where the curly top has a little more length right here. Okay, you want to put your Okay, top I'm ready to get Move into Christy. Christy. Okay. So we just want to compare a little bit for you as we go. We hope this is helpful. Yes. Let us know. Yeah. So I'm putting on Christy Top in Sandy Silver, just so mm -hmm. you know. And she also comes in Silverstone, just so you know. Oh, yeah. And going back to the Curly Top, she comes in actual gray colors as well. A few really great grays, not just the white. Love it. So for me, the Christy top is gonna be a little fuller, I feel like, on the top because it's a little shorter cut. Um, I was able to get the curly top really flat, but this one doesn't quite get as flat. It can still get flatter, but I feel like it has a little bit more fullness. Christy top. Christy top, mm -hmm. and definitely a lot longer and smoother. Like the texture smoother. of the actual hair yes. is smoother, where the texture of the curly top hair is a little less smooth. I don't know what you want to Yes, call it. <laughs> it's not as smooth as yeah. it's curly hair. <laughs> right, exactly. But I love the bang on this Danielle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. And it can come either way. You can play with a piece, change the parts like I just did. Yeah. And just play. You don't want to be in a rush when you're trying a piece. And it gets so easy. Two minutes, that's it. You're done, ready yes. to go. Yeah. And sometimes the more you play with it, the more kind of phony it starts looking. Because most people's hair is not perfect. So just play a little and let it go. How is the back of my piece? So again, it's great that you're wearing such a different color. So you can really see. So here is the Christy top, which is the grayer um, color. And see how it hits here. And it has these like kind of short, cute little pieces. And if you're loving this, come back. <laughs> If you love this, if you're like, oh, I wish they made that in a wig. Well, we do. It's the wig called Christy. Yes. And that is actually what we made the top from. Yes. So a lot of clients will get the Christy wig and the Christy top. Exactly. And then be able to kind of go back and forth. Yes. And this is the best part of Christy mm -hmm. wig and Christy top. This yes. sexy little bang that comes down. Mm -hmm. And you can always trim anything to customize it. Right for your size forehead or for the style that you want. Yes. So I think I want to put on the Bella top so we can just compare them really well. Great in the idea. Case. So the next piece we're going to go to into is called Bella top. So I'm going to actually put her on in a gray just because I really want you to be able to see the difference between her and Christy in similar colors. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make sure I don't unsnap my piece, <laughs> my other piece of double piecing. Honey, here. I love how we call all of our pieces and wigs her. Oh, yeah. Because my girl. these are our girls. Yeah. So this is Bella Top. So I want you to look at the inside. So it's a little shorter here, and it actually has three clips instead of four. 
And even though it's machine teased, it's very open here in the middle, mm -hmm. which allows for a little less hair, so it's not as dense there on the middle. Yes. So, and this is the silver stone color. And our pieces, our top pieces, it's not necessary to ever pull your hair through. Mm -hmm. It's such a pain. 25 years ago, I used to do that. And the time that it took was so frustrating. So our pieces, whether you have no hair at the top or you have a little hair, just clip it and clip it in the back and that's it. Yes. So now I put on Bella top. So they are similar styles, but this has way less hair on the top. Mm. So I want you to see like how flat I can get it. It's still, this is still gonna have more fullness up yes. here than I am. So it's still gonna have your longer bang, but it's just Great. gonna be um, longer in the back. Can I get the back going here? Let me check the back for you. Thank you. And also a big difference is Bella Top, the sides are going to be longer. So I want to, yes. we'll, we'll go to the side and sure, show. So sure. let's go this way. So I want you to see, here are the sides on Christy Top. So it's very layered and it comes to like the top of her ear. This is the side of Bella Top, which comes mm -hmm. all the way down to at least the middle of my ear, if mm. not further. And it's not those really short layers. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be the biggest difference is this to me works is a longer looking yes. piece. And the other part is yeah. I can pump up Christy. And I cannot pump up Bella as much. I can definitely give it some fullness, but so it's definitely can... a different look. Just want you to see, it's it definitely, yeah. so you can see that has the shorter layers and this has the little bit longer mm -hmm. layers, a little smooth. Mm -hmm. So we'll do a turn so you can really see the difference. So that is the Christy top and the Bella top. So these mm -hmm. are, um, oh, you know what? What? You want, I want to put, have you put your Bella top on. Okay. And I'm going to actually put it on in a correct color. So you can really see what they look like in. Oh, you know, great. Like. So I'm going to put Mochaccino on. And I'm going to put on dark in chocolate. Bella. And I do like to brush it also mm -hmm. just to loosen it up. I do too, like from the front here. We both do. What do you know? I do with Bella. So again, she has the three clips, two on the front, one in the center back. So when you put your clips on, do not pull back. Right. Just place the clips where you want. And like me, I don't really have a bang, so I'm putting them right at the front. If you had bangs of your own, you may leave a little bit of your own bang out. Right. Make sure you get the front where you like it. And you can always add extra clips if you yes, want. Definitely. You can do anything you want with your piece to have you feel confident and secure. Yes. But three clips are really only, that's all that's mm -hmm. needed. And because it's a little bit shorter piece, that's why we really didn't need the four clips. Right. Oh, I love this. Yes. And so this is pretty much matching my little bottom, right? right? Yeah. Give me a little brush there. So, and then this is, the, my bottom part's a ginger brown um, and the top is dark chocolate. So they're similar. Oh, but yes. But just so you can get the idea. Yes, great. Hold on. I just want to show everybody because it yes, just, place you down. just brush in. You don't brush flat. <laughs> because that starts to look wiggy. So just give it a little brush and it blends right in. You know, women are walking around us with all kinds of color blends from lavenders oh, to yeah. damaged, to dry, to curly, to frizzy, to straight, to super thin. So, And a lot yeah. of people only color the crown of their hair. Right. And it may be a completely different color than the rest. So this is a crown piece. So this is just the crown of your yes. hair. So if yes. it's a little different than the nape or anything else, that is okay. Yes. And what I really would like to say, because I have noticed some women walking around and I've actually taken photos of the back of women this is true. in shopping malls. Maybe we'll include them. And <laughs> I, I, I will uh, put some up right and now. And they have a complete space where you can see the scalp clear to me they don't ever look at the back of their head right to see what's going on and i just want to put a piece of ours on them yes. so if you're not sure do i need it or not please grab a mirror 
and turn around and look at the back. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So these are our short pieces. So now we're gonna be heading into our medium length pieces. We're back, we had to take a little break so we could straighten our hair. So now we're gonna get into the medium top pieces, the medium length top pieces. And we're gonna be starting with Emma top. So Emma top is, has here this base, and she has the four clips. And then you'll see in the front she has a wispy bang where in the back she has just this great light bit of wave and a little bit shorter sides. So pretty. I know. So for me, since my hair is really long and Rochelle too probably, for us, we personally would probably wear this um, with our hair pulled up, which we'll show you. That looks really good. Great bangs. Yes. So not every piece is made for Danielle and myself, so we know that and you know that, but think about your hair. Right. A wispy little side so and a little in the back. So yeah, what's great, so after this, I want you to put on the sandy so they can actually like see right where it falls. Okay. So this, so with Rochelle's hair, if her hair was more layered or a little more wavy, this definitely could work, but you do need either a layer or a wave for this back part to make sense, mm -hmm. or, or you can do a half up. You can even just pull the sides right. and clip it right. and let your hair hang down like this. And what I love about this piece is these tendrils and our clients. One thing that like all these pictures we're getting, oh. they're doing these amazing updos and they're just leaving. They're getting the bangs and these really cute oh. side pieces. I want my little tendrils. So like I'm going to do, I'm going to take the piece with my hair and just twist it and I'm going to put a big, oh you have it. Here. Oh, pretend to put a big clip. Take it. <laughs> put a big clip here. So then what's really cute is, like I said, we have the bangs and we have just these great side pieces. You can see some of our clients doing great. this. It's really cute. So if you have longer hair, but it's finer and thinner, Danielle, will you take a slow turn so everybody can see again what you did? Just by clipping her hair up, the piece, you don't even see it. You do not see it, honey. It's amazing. Yeah. So like I've worn this piece on vacation when I'm going to the pool and I want to have my hair up. Um, one thing I talked about is especially during summertime, you know, if you're out in the sun a lot, if you don't have a hat or something on, your scalp can get burned. So what I've been doing when I go away, I wear a top piece like to the pool or wherever else. And then I can just wear my sunglasses and my top piece and I don't have to worry about my scalp getting burned and right, I still get the shape. Right. So I've been, I actually, Emma top is one of my favorites to wear out by the pool because I like this cute updo with I my cute it. little sides. Really cute. And the bangs because that way my forehead doesn't get burned either. Excellent. <laughs> That replaces tanning oil. Exactly. Awesome. Yes. And if you want height, just don't clip the two back pieces. Clip right. the front and then pull your hair up with the piece yeah. and gather it all together. That's and cute. I'm just going to really quick, I'm going to make yeah. a ponytail. I love it. And Rochelle is wearing the creamy toffee R color. How's that look? Perfect. It looks great. I mean, you can't tell. I love it. And I am wearing, I think I'm wearing coffee latte R, but I'll double check. What does this say? I will double check. Uh, <laughs> yes, coffee, coffee latte, latte R. So this piece also comes in, you know, a large variety of colors, including some gray colors. So I'd love for Rochelle to put this piece on. Oh, yes. In the gray. And that way you can also <laughs> see like exactly where it's going to hit. I found my little piece. Where it'll fall. See, okay. I'm telling you, these little, just little wavy love pieces it. are just oh, so cute. Okay. So now she's going to put the Emma top on in sandy silver. Like I said, I just want you to see the piece only. Oh, in the colors. Yes. Every color we do, ladies, are beautiful, whether it's grays, yes. blondes, reds. I'm going to hide right. my hair for a minute here. And so with this piece, what I've found is like, you know, any hair length really from like here and down works with this piece. Um, or you could even have it trimmed a little too. Yes, so, hang on, that's... I'm going to hide you. me. We'll even leave you. I just want okay. them to see, you can clearly see what's you. Okay. 
So all these pieces, and then if you'll do a little side. Yes. I just want you to see exactly I'm where it's. Flip on. Side, I don't want to do the side. So I just want you to see, so all these gray pieces obviously are the piece. So it has this great, just little bit of movements. And then here in the back, here's how it's coming down. Again, not super wavy, but definitely not straight. So it has a little wave, comes down to here. And then again, same thing over here. And then in the front, just this great wispy bang, yes. which, you know, if you wanted to wear it perfectly straight down, you might trim it a little bit or really cute to the side. Right. So Emma mm -hmm. really works great with little wavy or straight. Exactly. Either way. Yeah. Looks terrific. So this is the Emma top. So the next top we're going to be showing you is the medium top. So let's. And so you this. clip it off the top here and just roll the other clips down and it doesn't pull your hair. And for those of you that have exceptionally fine and thin hair, if your hair is, doesn't want to hold by the clip, if you take a little bit and just put a spritz of hairspray mm -hmm. just where the clips go, tease it gently just a little bit, that little naughtiness from the teasing will help the clips go right in and stay secure. I just wanted to show you the difference, what's well, funny, you won't even see my hair, of just doing what I did, twisting it and clipping it up without mm. the piece. So you could just see. Great point. Thank you. You know what's funny, it won't even, my hair won't say, it's so slippery, it's coming right out. Oh wow. I can't even do it. <laughs> well anyway, you'd get the idea. So my hair would be just like this. So my, I'd have this little kind of something, but that's it. Yes. So I just want you to see what a difference. Let's see if I can do this. Up here. I mean, just all of it. There. So I'd have this. Okay. You know. Which is Which cute. is not bad, but the other one is great, I think. <laughs> right. And that's what counts, is right. what you exactly. like, how you want to look. Right. You know, people that aren't into wigs or pieces or are new to them or family members, a lot of them have stories that are negative about wigs. And it's right. really just because they don't know. So please use us, Godiva Secret, as your information source right. and your how-to. I mean, between us, gosh, we've got almost almost 60 years of experience here. Right. Yes. So now we are showing you the medium top. And I just put mine on in a rooted color called Almond Spice. And Rochelle put hers on in... I don't know. <laughs> In spring honey. Okay. So Great so color. again, for me personally, um, the length is not long enough for me to wear my hair down, unless my hair was very layered. But again, I know this is not my color, but a lot of people, like we've talked about, just color the crown only. I so like if it. I was doing this, but my hair is back like this, it would make sense. I love it, even Thanks. with your little dark temple showing. And my temples go with the roots. Right I here. love this Thank color you. on you. Thanks. So, you know, everyone's so worried about getting the right color match. Not necessarily. It doesn't have to match. It has to blend. And so, you know, if, if I looked at the almond, I'd be like, but that's not my color. But it blends. Right. And it makes sense. Right. And so for me, our medium still top short, piece, yeah. it's still too short. I would not wear it this way. But I love the height that it gives mm -hmm. me and the bangs. So all I would do is just pull it back and clip it. Right. So I'll again, the you. medium top is some, for someone with more of a medium length hair. Right. We just want to show you the most popular pieces right now. So they are not necessarily for our hair. Right. You know, so forgive us. If your hair is short or yeah. to the chin. Or even to the shoulder. Or to the say. shoulder. Okay. Medium tops, all these yeah. are absolutely fantastic for you. Yes but you can still put it up and clip it yeah. and so, yeah. give yourself a little height. Right. So with the medium top, it also comes in gray colors as well, the sandy silver and the silver stone. Um, and so the medium top is machine teased at the top. That's made so that you can easily give it more fullness. But if you don't want that fullness, we also have what's called a mono medium top. And the mono stands for monofilament which means that here on the inside, every hair is put in by hand one at a time. And what that does is it makes it so there's no machine teasing and that when you part it, 
it'll actually look like your scalp, which we'll show you once we put it on. So it's the same cut, same everything as what we're wearing, but without the machine teasing. Right, so hair by hair by hair is being put into this. So look you will it. have a flat look yes. and if you want fullness on your top pieces then I would not suggest a mono or right. a monofilament top for you right. but if you want it flat then yes to a mono or like if you want a really specific part then the monofilament is a must for you and we'll so show Rochelle's you. wearing the vanilla lush color thank you honey <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna be putting on the dark chocolate so again, always just at the hairline, or if you have bangs that would work with it, you can leave your bangs out too. Right. And then the two clipped in the back. And then I want to show you here, you can see it really good on the dark. So see when I'm parting it here, do you see right here, it looks like scalp. You see that? I see it. See yes. So it doesn't matter that my hair is dark, the scalp still looks like scalp color. Yes. So it lays nice and flat, so you can get a really flat look. Yeah, cute. Oh yeah, you could do that. So I'm just showing you how flat it is. And you yeah. could tease it up a little bit, but it really doesn't want to be teased. It wants to just lay flat. Right. But you can, if you like a center part, give it a center part. You can tease, yeah. you can part, yes. not tease, you can part a monofilament wig any way you like. Yes. And what I'm noticing on my hair, so even though my hair is really long, if my hair just had like a little bit of layering in it, because mm -hmm. this is my color, I could do this, this piece. Yes. So I just want to show you in the back where it is. So if I had layers, picture layers. They're right here is the piece. So if right I had here. layers, I could do this. So, yes. you know, we're saying if your hair is shorter, but if it's longer and layered, mm -hmm. this can be one of your layers. Right. And when you get a piece, if you ask around for a hairdresser that you has been referred, somebody that people really like and trust, take your piece and talk to them and they can even shape your hair right. and shape the piece so it connects together and yeah. it will be natural and beautiful. Mm -hmm. So our pieces are made for the masses with little trimming, yeah. little changes, you customize it for you. Maybe it's trimming, like on a wig, you can always trim the bangs. Same thing with a top piece. Yeah. So don't feel it has to be exactly perfect when you just first get it. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like the base. Right. And sometimes, many times, it does work perfect. And, yes. many, and sometimes it needs just a little tweaking. Right. So these are our medium length top pieces that have been the most popular so far in 2022. And next, we're going to be showing you the longer pieces. So now we're going to get into our wavy top pieces, which is our wavy top and our mono wavy top. So we're going to show you each of those on us. So the first one we're going to show you is our wavy top. So Rochelle is going to be putting it on in the Nutmeg F color. Oh yeah, let's, let's show it. And I'm going to put it on in Espresso. So it has four clips on the inside, which stay in your hair even with the like littlest amount of hair. Mm -hmm. And then it's this beautiful wave and it does have some teasing here for fullness. And the wave will stay in even after you shampoo and condition it. Yes. So one thing is when you get your wavy top or mono wavy top, we really recommend also getting a curly comb with it. This is really the only comb we recommend for this. Mm -hmm. So the main thing you want to use it for is in the beginning, when you first get it, it can look a little kind of pushed down here at the top. So it's really important to use those three little combs and just gently brush it out right here. Yes. That makes a huge difference to how it's going to look. Right. And if you're like me and you like a fuller <laughs> look, I turn the top piece upside down so the label is at the top and then I uh. gently comb down and it makes wow, the okay. great fullness. So you really get to love. see the difference because I don't like fullness so I would not do that. <laughs> so now we're going to put on our wavy tops. Like I said, Rochelle's putting on Nutmeg F. This is not her exact color. This is to show you another color. Her closest color would be Creamy Toffee R. And I am putting it on an Espresso, which is a soft black. This is the darkest color we carry, and it is my color. 
So I'm putting it on at the front. So for me, I'm gonna put it right at the hairline. You're gonna hear, snap, snap. Yes. Two clips. And then there's two clips in the back here. I'm gonna clip those in as well. And then you play a little. Right. And that yeah, is the most off. important part when you're clipping in, not to push back, but to place the piece where it makes sense on your head. Oh, look at that. And then go from there. Wow, yeah. honey. Right? I love it. It gives me, Gosh. so what I like about it is it gives me this fullness because my hair is long, but it's flat on top. Yes. So it gives me this fullness on the top and around the sides. The other thing too is if your roots are growing out, it's the perfect way to extend your, you know, dye jobs. Right. And I can clip it. Yeah. Let me show you, you on the away. back. So you can maybe point out what's the piece. And what's right. Mine. Here is Danielle's piece. Here's wavy top. This is all Danielle. So even though her hair is so much longer, look how it just looks like a layered cut. It's great, honey. Thank you. Yeah, and you can easily just pull it and clip it back. Oh yeah, it's great. And so I want you to notice, even though Nutmeg F is not her color, it does still blend. So right. don't worry so much about like the exact perfect, just get what's closest to your hair. Right. I Most even... people, their, their own hair is not the exact same color from the crown to the tips. Right. It's really not. Right. That is really cute. Yeah. So this is great. the wavy top. So. We're gonna show you now the mono wavy top. So if you love this kind of look, but you don't want as much fullness on the top, the mono wavy top is gonna be the piece for you. So it's actually the same cut, the same curl, same but length. the difference mm -hmm. on the top, on the inside, I just wanna show you if you'll show them the inside. Yes. So this is machine teased on the, on the, this inside, you don't see anything, right? You just see like the inside. And this inside, you're gonna see all these little dots and each of those is hair that's put in. So on the flip side here, I'm just seeing hair. I know <laughs> you can see And over a here, bit. you can see through to what looks like scalp. So that, like I said, is gonna lay much flatter. It has no machine teasing. Yes, no teasing. So Rochelle's gonna put that on in the Creamy Toffee R color, which would be her color. This is my color. And so if you have a little hair around your hairline, use that hair if it makes sense with the top piece that you're wearing. Right. So I'm giving mine again that little brush just at the top. Oh yeah, yeah. So like for me, I don't like to show any of my hair on this one. I put it right at the front. Um, but of course you can do it yeah. whatever way you want. And you can part it different ways take time with your pieces and play and yes. see what you like. And you can always have bangs cut into the piece too. Exactly. Let me see, where am I? And just so you know, these pieces, we've never put them on before this moment. <laughs> they have not been cut styled. We literally have not tried them on till right now. So when we're taking a few seconds to play, they're brand new. We're courageous, honey. I know. <laughs> we have faith in our pieces. Right. And it's just watch the way we're playing right. and not just touching, touching, but manipulating it. When you get a brand new piece, it doesn't know what you want, but as you keep styling it the way you like, it will start to go that way. It's yes. magic. It really is. It's magic. How does uh, this look? Honey? Perfect. I mean, can you even see that there's a piece there? I cannot. I really can't. So I want to show you with mine, I put it right at the hairline. And then if you want, I want you to see how it lays, how flat it lays compared to the one I was just wearing that was a little fuller. And here I parted it, can you see right here? That is what looks like scalp. Yeah, it's amazing. So that is, even if you have it like really flat on top, yes. it still looks totally real because it looks like that scalp. Right. But I still have these great curls all over the sides. And here. so because of the see-through scalp, it doesn't mean that it matters what color hair you have. Mm -hmm. If you're wearing like Danielle Starker hair, Can't it's it. okay. You're not going to see through it. It's just going to look like scalp, That's no matter what color your hair is, white, brown, red, gray. True. And what's fun is like, kind of like Michelle did, like using your own hair with the piece, because if they're the same color, you can't tell the difference. Right. I like that big look. Anyway. Once so, in a while, yeah. come on, ladies. So if you have wavy hair, whether it's you know shorter than Rochelle's, 
Rochelle's length, my length, these wavy top pieces are perfect for you. Yes. Whether your hair is just wavy or curlier, because her hair is definitely curlier than mine. Here I am. Yeah, so there's, this is Rochelle. Her, she's definitely curly, and I am more just wavy. So it really, you can see, it really works with multiple types of hair and textures. Yes. Oh yeah, that's cute and a ponytail. And if you love it, but the, your hair is a little bit shorter, just have it trimmed. Right. No and if you want it up high, just don't clip the two back pieces. Right. That's all. Yeah. So this is our wavy top and mono wavy top. I'm going to move on to the longer length top pieces. So we're going to show you first our tailor top, which is definitely one of the most popular ones. These all are, but of 2022. So I'm going to put on tailor top in chocolate swirl. And I'm putting it on in champagne. And ladies, if you're wanting to try a topper or a top piece and you like a little bang, yes. Taylor is your girl. Mm -hmm. It's so popular. Just clip it right at the hairline. And the bangs may be a little long, but the right place for the piece is right at the hairline. Right. And like for me, I like my bangs to the side, so I love that they're a little bit longer. I can just oh. push them right to the side. I like to give Taylor Top a little side part. Oh, yeah. That's give cute. me a little. Look at I haven't even clipped the back I know, yet. That's great. And so this color is a little lighter than Rochelle's hair, but it blends, which is so cool. Let's see. Let me hide this. So if she was going to wear this piece, she would probably just round out her hair a little bit. We straightened our hair here with the office and just had a flat iron. So forgive us. But um, you'll see how like this would just blend perfect. This was just slightly rounded. But this is where it hits, where it falls. And it gives you great coverage. Mm. Love it. Love and I'm wearing the chocolate swirl. And even though my hair is much longer, it still works with my hair as well. You can see if I just had maybe a little extra layer or yes. a little more rounded. So here it is. Here's Danielle's hair. Here is Taylor Top. Mm -hmm. It's great. So, and I love this bang personally. It's my, one of my favorites. So cute. And it's also cute to wear up or I think Rose doing a braid. I'm doing a really, really quick braid <clears throat> to show you because you can get creative uh -huh. when you have a little more hair than you're used to. Right. And it's just fun. So I don't know how I did, but. It works. Okay. <laughs> just <laughs> look in you, the mirror. <laughs> just to give you an idea. Yeah. And you know, when you're wearing a top piece like a wig, before you leave the house, grab a mirror and always check the back. Yes. And make sure that it looks, makes sense. Right. Okay. So don't here forget. I just did a little, just to throw it up and just, just clipped it oh, up. Oh, love it. So here's your hair yes. and here is the piece. Yeah, so I love wearing the top piece up, especially if like maybe my hair is not done that great. You know, usually you have to kind of do your hair to wear a top piece. Right. But if you're gonna twist it and clip it up, it really doesn't have, to, your own hair doesn't have to be perfect at all. Mm -hmm. Just throw it on and you have this great bang and extra hair. It's just about plain. Yes. That's it. Yes, I love this. I love this little. I love this. I just I love, love this piece. I love this little thing. And what I like, I'm wearing the chocolate swirl color. So my hair is like espresso, a soft black, and I don't dye my hair. So this color has a dark base, but it has these great little highlights. So it gives me a chance to have highlights right. without having to dye my own hair. Right. Which I really enjoy. So it's not like so drastic, but it's definitely like a fun highlight. Mm-hmm. So yes, Taylor Top also comes in gray. Oh, this is Silverstone. Oh yeah, I will show you in another gray too. And it is just gorgeous. And remember, if the length is longer than your own hair, you have a choice to make. You can let your hair grow out a little longer to match Taylor or any top piece length, or take a piece to your hairdresser and have them trim it to the hair length that you have right. or that you want. And that and that's it. It's very easy. So now I just put Taylor Top on in Frosted Taupe, Beautiful. which is one of our most popular colors. It's in the gray category, but it's a great transitional color too if you're wanting to go gray or you're kind of a brownish gray. It's just a great color. 
Um, and by putting these on, you can really see where the piece falls mm -hmm. on us mm -hmm. and just how it lays. Let's see. Oh, yeah, this is terrific. You can really see that. Now the you get an <laughs> idea. Okay. Here's Danielle's bra line. So it's up here. Here's her shoulder. So a little longer than the shoulder. Perfect. That's great. So that is tailor top. So next we're going to show you our long top. Yay. <clears throat> I don't know if we showed you the inside of Taylor Top, but she has the four clips and the space. So next we're going to Long Top. She is same kind of base, the four clips, and she is machine teased as well. And I am putting on the Espresso color, which is um, cool. our darkest color. It's a soft black or like super dark brown. And I'm putting Nutmeg F. So for those of you that love Nutmeg F, mm -hmm. Long top comes in it, and it's so beautiful. And remember, if you only wear, let's say you love Nutmeg F, you could always take this long top and you could have it trimmed to your shoulder. Like, yeah. If that's the color that you really, really want, yeah. then that's the color you can get. So the long top, Unlike Taylor Top, Long Top does not have a specific bang. Mm -hmm. It has kind of these longer pieces. However, a lot of people do um, have them trimmed also, right. but it does not come with a bang. I do it too. So I would say just take a little bit like this mm -hmm. and we have trimming tutorials, yes. how to trim bangs, many of them. Danielle's done a great job and you just follow step by step and you can do it or go to a trusted hairdresser. Right. So the long top length, let's see, it's better on you to show. Okay. <clears throat> so here is the long top. It goes all the way down to here. And here's Rochelle's hair. So the Nutmeg F is not her first choice color. She would do the Creamy Toffee R, but this way you can really see where it lays. But if this was her color, you would not see it mm -hmm. at all. However, if I took this mm -hmm. and twisted it up, Right, that's cool. My hair is darker under yeah, here. Yeah, this correct? matches your hair exactly now. So right. see, so when you're matching a top piece or, or trying to, don't ever think about the top of your head right. because that's not going to show with right. a top piece. Think about the ends yes. or the underneath of your hair, which is typically right. darker. Really good points. Thank you. Honey. Yeah, that's super important. And like I said before, you know, most people do color at the top of their head, so it is not usually the same color as their tips either. No. So just get a color that blends or a color that you like. Yes. You and know. I would normally say go lighter mm -hmm. than your color. However, many times tips is lighter. are lighter. It just makes sense. So yeah. you could be darker. So as I'm looking at myself in a darker color, well, it like makes it. sense to me. Yeah. And I love this. And if you're like me, you fall in love with a color, I buy the color, the piece in the color I love, I take it to my hairdresser right. and say, hey Brady, I love you, please make my hair this color. Yes. And showing the piece to your hairdresser is a thousand times, you'll get a thousand times more success yes. than just talking colors and saying, gee, could you make me a blonde blend with a little warmth to it? That's really hard for a hairdresser, but right. show them and always take it with them, even when you're back for a recolor. Yes, great tips. It is so much easier. So this is the long top. So like I said, this is machine teased on the top. And then I just want to show, so when we say a color is rooted, Rochelle is wearing the Nutmeg F, which is a rooted color. So do you see the darker color here at the base? So that is the appearance of roots or regrowth, and that looks really realistic. So I just want to show you, I want to put that color on. This color? No, the nutmeg that you're wearing. Oh, you want my nutmeg. I want your nutmeg. So I just want to show you that even though you're like, whoa, you're putting on blonde. Wow, look at the difference. Sorry, <laughs> I'm interrupting. I just want to show you the illusion of what Roots does. So yes, this is Great. definitely a lighter color for me, but by having this dark Roots, it could make sense that I decided to do like a blonde and brown or I would do a little bit darker, but the roots still are what makes the lighter colors make sense for me. Yes. So like I said, I probably wouldn't go this light, but a rooted color in general is fun. And if I did this, 
some people have, you know, this kind of hair color. And Look it's around yeah. at the people around you. Yes. Go to a mall and sit. Right. And write down the colors that you see. Right. <laughs> I do want actually to turn so you can see exactly where the piece lays. Yes, right this too. is perfect. Let me hide this. Contrast. Is just perfect. There are absolutely people with this color hair. Real. Yes. See, and if Danielle trimmed it, even though her hair is darker underneath, it looks like she planned it that way. And if she gathers her hair together, I mean, women are walking around with every shade of right. color and blends and yeah. combinations. It can be fun. Yeah. You know? So like I said, this is a machine teased um, version. So now we're going to show you the mono long top. And what mono stands for is monofilaments. And what that means is that on the inside, every hair is put in one strand at a time. And when you turn it this way, you will see what looks like your scalp. Like we've shown you in some of the other pieces in this video. So now we're gonna be putting on the mono long top. And I am putting it on in the Maple Sugar R color. I'm putting mono long top on in Harvest Gold, which is a cooler, blonde uh, could be a little to the ash for those of you that are looking for a little ash color so ooh, i like this so again kind of what i just was talking about the rooted colors so this is maple sugar r this is definitely not my cult my my color but with the roots i could totally do this and it just looks like i had yes, fun and lightened the crown part of my hair and this would just be a fun, different thing to do. But like I said, even with my my temple part, it blends with here, and just that bit of cr that bit of roots makes it make sense. It really, really does. And I've got harvest gold on, which is darker than right. my color, but it just looks like the roots are right. darker the tips right now. Are the right color, though, yeah. Okay, so again, these are not about matching our hair texture, and I want to talk about yes. that too because. Some of these pieces are wavy, are curly, are smooth. And if you have to do a little blow drying or a little scrunching to make your hair curlier, have your hair make sense with the piece. Right. That's why it's so easy to do. Yes. So. And I just wanted to show you, we were talking about that monofilament scalp. So here, if, you, if I part it, you can actually see what looks like scalp. Right. So that's what we're talking about whenever we say monofilament. Right. And if you'll notice, it lays flatter on right. my head or our heads as well. Right, 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 right. So these are all of our long length top pieces. I want to say oh, one last thing. Just kidding. Let's say that <laughs> you don't like bangs on your face and you want to wear the piece a little further back and put mm -hmm. your hair over it. Yes. Put it back about an inch from your hairline and then put your hair over. Oh. We get a lot of questions about this. Can I wear it without showing bangs? Yes. And so it's just smoothing it and then clip it. And you can give yourself a little height or not. Yeah. I'm not doing it perfect. I'm just giving you a little sampling. And there you go. Cool. I love it. So these are all of the top pieces that have been our best sellers for this year, 2022. So we hope you've really enjoyed this and that it's really shown you all the different top pieces, the different ways to wear them, the different colors that can work. Hope this has really helped you. And if you don't already, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. We put out a new video every single week. Yes. And then also separately, if you go on our website on the home page at the bottom, there's a place to put in your email address. That way you will know about any specials we have or any new products or anything like that. As we well. have a drawing for a free oh, yes, wig every month. Yes. So on our website, um, there's a drop down and I'll make sure I put the link in the description. Um, and you can sign up every month for a free wig up to $300. We pick somebody every month. And if you've just found us and you're watching us for the first time, we only carry very high quality synthetic. We do right. not carry human hair because in our business model, human hair is just not convenient okay. and as realistic and light and easy to move with right. as our high quality wigs, pieces in 
all colors. This is only a small sampling yes. of the beautiful colors we offer. And please check out our 500, over 500 videos yes. on our YouTube channel. We have tutorials, we have many wig parties where you'll feel like you're watching and you can take notes and binge watch. Yes, many clients do. I'm empty. That's it. Well, we thank you so much for watching our video and just for supporting us and believing in us to help you have wonderful hair every day. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.